All right, guys, this is just going to be a quick video about BFI, or Black Frame Insertion. This is something that I've heard about before, but in my head, I always associated it with OLED TVs. For some reason, I never thought to try it on my high refresh rate gaming monitors. Now, these monitors are not OLED. They're LCD. They're 170 hertz. Uh, I think they're 0.5 millisecond response time. They're not OLED, but they are high refresh rate. And BFI is something we can use on these high refresh rate monitors that I've just never thought to try before. All right, so we're gonna go into uh, Adventure Island here. I'll turn the volume down there. So this is without BFI on, and this is pretty typical. You know, there's a little bit of motion blur, a little bit of ghosting uh, with the scrolling. It's not terrible, but we can do better. So I'm gonna press start, I'm gonna go into game settings, I'm gonna scroll down. There's two things I've done here. Again, my monitors are 170 hertz, but for this, I'm forcing them to run at 120 hertz. We're playing an NES game that runs at 60 frames per second, and in between every frame of the game, we're gonna insert a black frame. It's gonna give us 120 frames per second, or 120 hertz, so it just makes sense to have the monitor matched at 120 hertz right now. We're going to scroll down here to Screen Sync, and we're going to turn BFI, or Black Frame Insertion, on to 1. I don't know if you have a higher refresh rate, like a 240 hertz monitor, or a 480 hertz monitor, if you can turn this up. Uh, but for me, if I try turning this up too high, I just end up with like a really black flickery screen. It doesn't, doesn't work right at all. So we're going to set this to 1, and we're going to go back. I'm gonna go back into Adventure Island. The first thing I noticed here is that the image is a lot darker. My camera's gonna probably compensate, but the game image looks noticeably darker and ever so slightly flickery. Almost looks like you're looking at a CRT in that regard. There's just ever so slightly flickeriness to it, but the star of the show is the motion clarity. And I'm really hoping this is gonna come across in, in camera, but the motion clarity is genuinely noticeably better. It just looks smoother and, and sharper. The, the background, the, the black outline around the sides of those trees when we're running and scrolling uh, just looks sharper. So this genuinely does work. Uh, it's something that uh, I've never thought to try before, but uh, now that I've seen it, I would certainly wanna mention this to you guys because again, a lot of people that play retro games on OLED TVs know about BFI. But again, it's not something I've ever thought of before uh, on my uh, gaming monitors here. So it's not an option I've noticed in the emulators before, and I guess because I really wasn't looking for them. Uh, but again, go into game settings. I would set your monitor, if your monitor is like 165 hertz or 170 hertz, like mine, I would force your monitor to run at 120 hertz, and then go down to screen sync and turn this to one. By default, it's auto, but that doesn't actually do anything. That's, that's off for me anyways. So I had to set it to one, and then we got our BFI working. Uh, again, you'll notice the game image uh, is a little bit darker, but I'm hoping, again, you'll be able to tell in this video that the motion clarity is noticeably better. It's not leaps and bounds better, doesn't turn this magically into an OLED or CRT, but it is noticeably better, so I think it's something that you should try. Alright, that's it. See you guys later.